Hey, it's Steve Eimers. Uh, this is a video related to an investigation I conducted in the state of Idaho related to guardrail installations. My interest in guardrail began on November 1st, 2016, when my daughter was speared by a guardrail coming through her vehicle and fatally wounded. I have, my goal is to rob America's streets of any more victims. So this search took place across the state of Idaho, specifically Interstate 84. And when I'm looking, I, Google Street View is really an interesting um, thing to look at. And so you have the Welcome to Idaho sign. It's placarded with all kinds of um, stickers. So I, I just had that here. I think it was interesting. Also, it was really interesting looking at the satellite view and seeing the areas that had been um, had been uh, hit with the sprinklers and were producing agricultural products. And so I've got that picture here. I just found it interesting. But anyways, the first thing that I was looking at was the issue of the slotted rail terminal. This is a product from, it was from Trinity Industries that was bought by a hedge fund called Monomoy. They have rebranded and um, they formed a new company and retained certain products that they continue to sell, including the slotted rail terminal. One concern with the slotted rail terminal is that it is a non-energy gating terminal. So you have to have adequate run out behind it. But the other issue with the SRT350 is that the second rail can be installed upside down and backwards. In 2016, Caltrans issued guidance related to this due to some concerns, performance concerns and crashes. Uh, going through the NHTSA data from 2016 to 2020, I have found seven crashes, which resulted in a fatality. And when I went back and was able to document them, it appeared that those seven crashes had upside down SRT350 rail twos. I can't speak to causation. I have one crash here that I'll highlight in um, Florida where the rail was installed upside down. The individual was was killed in the crash. He was a 22-year-old young man named Hunter Burns. Um, Hunter hit the upside down uh, SRT350 and his vehicle was incinerated. Um, so when I looked at the state of Idaho, I found a number, well over a dozen of these that were upside down and backwards. And so that's a real performance concern. What can happen is, is you have the slot guards on that second rail and um, you don't get the crumbling effect that you want to see. I have a guest joining me briefly. Hello, Nicholas. Hi. All right, let me finish up my video, okay? Love you. Um the second issue is I found rampant um, Frankensteining of guardrails. And, and it wasn't one type of Frankenstein, which is uh, con uh, concerning. I found issues with, say, a fleet guardrail and an SRT being mixed together. We saw this in a crash in Idaho, or not Idaho, but in Colorado that resulted in a horrific spearing. The uh, person survived, but had multiple, um, uh, had had multiple surgeries. Uh, then there was another form of uh, Frankensteining that involved the Trinity ET Plus with the Trinity SRT 350 rail. And that also is very similar to what we saw in Colorado. But, but slightly different. I said that we have one, um, probably one of the most astonishing uh, Frankenstein systems that I've ever seen. It was a Trinity ET Plus head with a road systems SKT rail one, along with an additional second rail from the um, Trinity SRT 350. So you had three systems. I mean, this isn't just wrong. It would have been extraordinarily expensive to install it this wrong. Um, there were, uh, there's one in here that is, is really, again, very peculiar. It is a Trinity SRT 350 rail one, followed by a Trinity SRT 350 rail two, followed by a second Trinity SRT 
Rail 2. And then there's another one that's similar to that, but the SRT Rail 2s were installed upside down and backwards without the slot guards. Uh, finally, uh, we have um, a number of Trinity SRT 350s that were installed, and they also had a generic Rail 2, so you're not going to uh, get the gating that you'd like to see. And then there was one in particular, again, some really... You have to go out of your way to screw it up this bad. You had a Trinity slotted rail terminal, rail 2, which um, was installed as the first rail, but you would have had to cut or drill the holes to attach the cable anchor bracket. But then there was a generic rail, um, uh, rail that was used at the second rail. I, I'm going to get these over to Idaho D, uh, ITD. They don't go by... Uh, I dot, which is kind of good because it looks like it's a when you spell I D O T, it it just anyways it doesn't it looks like they're spelling idiot, but I appreciate that they went with I T D. But anyways, um, we got to get these fixed. But one of the things that I T D really needs to do is inspect their entire inventory. You know, I'm a guy from rural East Tennessee. I was using Google Street View. They need to put boots on the ground, get out there and inspect these. I've seen similar inspections ordered after investigations. Uh, that WUSA did it in Maryland. Also, uh, one I did in Vermont led to statewide inspections. We also had one down in, um, did a story with 11 Alive in Atlanta that resulted in GDOT doing a statewide investigation. There's other stuff upcoming. I don't want to... I don't want to share the story yet uh, out of a couple other states. But anyways, these are really serious installation error errors that unless they're corrected, they're going to result in the death or serious harm of another person. Uh, so we need to get these corrected because life has inherent transcendent value. But in addition to that, we have to... Um, we have to... Uh, inspect the whole state, but we need to improve our training in Idaho. One of the things ITD could really do, and it would be very advantageous, is to set up a guardrail garden where they could bring in people, train them in a safe and controlled environment on their exemplar units. They don't have a ton of different systems, so they could install these exemplars, then um, go ahead inspect the whole state, get everything up to current standards so that it's installed properly, and um, get this problem corrected.